Hello, I'm Simon Monk and this is my book 30 Arduino Projects for the Eagle Genius. Like most of the books in the Eagle Genius series, um, it's a project based book. And I start with really simple projects, a flashing LED, and gradually work up to more interesting projects and more tricky to make projects. Here's a sample of the kind of projects that you'll find in the book. This is one of the first projects. It's just a flashing LED. Notice how the LED and resistor are just pushed into the holes on the uh, Arduino board. This is a Morse code signaler that just uses a high brightness Luxian LED. Here we've just taken the same project and put it on some prototyping board. This is a model traffic signal using red, yellow and green LEDs. The Eagle Genius is rather concerned about people gaining access to his layer and so he uses this keypad lock to keep people out. Despite appearances, this project is not some kind of torture implement, but rather a way of measuring your heart rate. This is a temperature logger that records temperatures every 10 minutes and stores them in the EEPROM memory of the Arduino. This message board receives messages over the USB connection from your computer and displays them on the little LCD display. The book contains a whole chapter of audio related projects and this one's a little VU graph meter that uses a little uh, LED bar graph display. This contraption acts as a lie detector by measuring the skin resistance of the subject. The great majority of the projects in this book can be built on solderless breadboard like this, which has the obvious advantage that you don't actually have to solder anything. And uh, another benefit of the Arduino is that it's powered through the USB ports, so you don't have to have a lab power supply to build the projects. As well as solderless the spreadboard, I also provide instructions on some of the projects for making a more permanent version. So for example, the um, high power Morse strobe light is um, built onto this protoshield board, which um, is provided in kit form and allows you to solder your own components onto a board that will then plug into the top of an Arduino board like that. Each of the projects in the book includes a uh, list of parts, so you can see what you need to make your project, as well as um, sources for buying those parts. It includes a schematic diagram and some explanation as to how the electronic part of the project works. It includes um, a breadboard layout so that you can see how to connect everything together. And of course it also includes a listing for the source code for the project. Um, but you probably won't want to type that in, so all of the source code is provided on the website for the book. So you can just download a zip file of all the sketches for the projects and then uh, use them with your Arduino board. Here's a clip of one of my favourite projects in the book. It's a binary clock with a difference. It's based on the Arduino lily pad uh, board and um, you can uh, tell the time by adding up the numbers for the hours, minutes and seconds. The hours are in red, the minutes in blue and the seconds in yellowy green. The whole thing is then mounted in a picture frame. Here are a few sample pages from the book. You can see that there are plenty of illustrations and photographs to show you uh, just how the projects work and how they should look while you're constructing them. 
The book is available from all good bookstores. Please also visit our website where you'll find more information about the projects in this book.